Here we are. <laughs> Lights on now. It will re it will remain light and until after we have finished okay. our okay. description of our okay. background. Okay. Okay. I'll uh, keep it on. Uh, 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 continue to light it. Oh. Okay, I put that one on I am probably one of the oldest here, except for Roger. <laughs> so, Roger is class 59, and I am class 60. There were supposed to be five of us here, but the other four, for some reason or other, backed off. So, ako na lang ang natira. And at my age, I should really be totally retired, but at this point in my life, I am still continuing to serve USD. Yay. Yeah. I graduated in 1960, taught for three years at USD and at Chena College. There is one of my former students. Fortune. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, always, he always says that he got chemistry because of the class that I taught. He was my yeah. chemistry student then, and he was always at the top of my class. Yeah. Yeah. He allows his classmates to copy from him. Even Eliasar, I think. To, oh, copies from you, Rod, uh, I mean Fortune, copies. correct? <laughs> <laughs> and the valedictorian of your class. Oh, Fortune was not valedictorian? No, he was not. He did not stand out as something outstanding at that time. <laughs> but he was kind. He has always been kind. So after I taught at USD and Jenna College, I left for the United States in 1963. I went to graduate school at Northeastern University and afterwards I began working for one of the top-notch consulting firm, Arthur D. Little, then popular, now defunct. <laughs> and we used to joke that some of us were survivors of Arthur D. Little. I was there for 35 years. Then after I left, the company folded. <laughs> That's a joke. But it's, it's what, it was a wonderful life working in a consulting firm for 35 years. I retired many years ago. I am retired, but not retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I can still kick even at my age. And somehow, sometimes, I can still do the samba. When <laughs> I'm challenged. And anyway, I am here because I have the dubious distinction of being president of the periodic table fundraiser. Mm -hmm. And we all hope that you will cooperate. We need your help. It is not possible for us to succeed in helping USD generate more uh, revenues for students without your help. We need you. So please help us. Thank you. So, uh, my name is uh, Roger Nagit from Ohio. Long, very, very from here, okay. Uh, she is the president, hard working president of Periodic Table. No? Ako naman, I'm hardly working. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was appointed vice president of the Periodic Table. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm probably the only one here who doesn't have any direct connection to Dr. Fortune <laughs> because he was not born yet when I was there. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I really joined the alumni group here not knowing to which class do I belong? <laughs> and Aleli adopted me. That was my first reunion, right? Right. And uh, so I was class 90, okay? But I was 
and a regular student, you know, because I have classes in all four years of that, <laughs> that you know. I have, I'm taking class in fir first year, second year, third year, fourth year, you know, so I didn't. I'm a man without a country, okay? <laughs> so, uh, Fortune, I think, decided to research, uh, and he told me I belong really to 59, because I was Octavarian that year. So I should belong to 59, okay? Although I did not march with a group of 59 for graduation. So after uh, graduating from uh, USP, I received a scholarship grant from the German government to take my postgraduate study in Germany in metallurgical engineering. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, uh, that's where I met my wife. Okay. Uh, there were nine Filipino nurses that was sent by San Carlos University to to Germany, and that specifically to that university where I was taking my postgraduate study. And uh, being the president of the foreign student organization, I gave them a welcome party. And so after that party, I decided to put nine names, nine names in a hat, and I shook them. Okay. And I pulled one name. <laughs> and then I went to that girl who became my wife, and I said, so it's your name. <laughs> and she, she was mad at me. Okay. Why do you have to go through lottery? <laughs> For raffles. <laughs> so I said, don't worry, all the nine names were yours, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> So anyway, after uh, taking my postgraduate study in Germany, I we immigrated here in the U.S. I worked for a while as, uh, <clears throat> until I retired 10 years ago. I worked as vice president and technical officer of that company. And I helped the company grow from a $30 million company to a half a, million, half a billion dollar company from a $30 million company. So when my wife the, uh, died in a car accident uh, 10 years ago, I decided to retire from that company. But the owner did not want me to leave, so they retained me as a consultant. So up to now, I'm a consultant of that company. And now I'm enjoying my time here with uh, fellow chemists. <laughs> and uh, I thank you all for accepting me even if I don't have any class. <laughs> okay. And thank you for, for not making it clear to me that I'm a class 59. Okay? <laughs>